Chad Hauer was living an ordinary life. He worked at Microsoft as a software developer. In 2009, his life took a drastic turn. Indicted for parental kidnapping, Hauer insists he had sole custody. He had allegedly failed to appear at a court hearing in Venango County, Pennsylvania, in the US, with his 10-year-old son, Alex, contradicting a custody order from his ex-wife. He had no idea he was going to become an international fugitive, a tale of a father's love against the legal system. Chad was in Bulgaria on a business trip. His freedom, however, was short-lived. He was apprehended by Bulgarian authorities due to an Interpol red notice. Extradition to the United States seemed inevitable. Bulgarian prison was a stark contrast to Howard's previous life. The conditions were harsh, the cells cramped and overcrowded. The language barrier was insurmountable, isolating Howard further. He was surrounded by hardened criminals, a stark reminder of his precarious situation. Despite the grim reality of his confinement, Hauer clung to hope. He fought against despair, drawing strength from the thought of his son. He knew he had to stay strong to navigate the legal labyrinth and clear his name. His ordeal in Bulgaria was a harrowing experience, a stark reminder of the price of freedom. Hauer endured the inhumane conditions, his resolve hardening with each passing day. He was determined to prove his innocence, to reunite with his son, no matter the cost. After months of legal wrangling, a glimmer of hope emerged. The Bulgarian courts, due to the lack of a comparable kidnapping law, refused to extradite Hauer. He was released, free to leave the country. He was a wanted man, but for now, he had evaded capture. Seeking refuge, Hauer made his way to the Caribbean island of St. Kitts. The tropical paradise offered a semblance of normalcy, a chance to rebuild his life. He found work as a software developer, blending into the island's laid-back atmosphere. Life in St. Kitts was not without its challenges knowing you did not do anything wrong and had no way to fight it. Howard's time in St. Kitts was a period of respite, a temporary reprieve. Asylum granted. Howard's time in paradise was not meant to last. Chad became ill with medical complications, forcing him to leave St. Kitts for Cuba seeking help. Chad had made it to Russia. He sought asylum in Russia, facing unique challenges. The vetting process was rigorous, requiring proof of political persecution. He claimed U.S. prosecution was a ploy to coerce him. The U.S. government was trying to recruit him as an asset, but he refused. His claims resonated with Russian authorities. After investigation, they granted him asylum. Hauer found sanctuary free from extradition. A hunted man. Today, Chad Hauer remains in Russia, a free man, but forever marked by his past. He is a ghost in the machine, his life a testament to the unintended consequences of a flawed system. Chad now is on the quest to clear his name and prove his innocence. His story is a cautionary tale, highlighting the human cost of international disputes and the often arbitrary nature of justice. It raises questions about parental rights, the limits of government power, and the lengths to which one man will go to protect his child. Chad Hauer's story is a reminder that truth can be stranger than fiction. It is a story of survival, of one man's unwavering belief in his innocence, even when the whole world seems to believe otherwise. His ordeal is a stark reminder that freedom, once lost, is not easily regained. <laughs>